all about the archers i'm philippa and i'm lauren and we are here to talk to you all about what's happened in the week so far we will be covering sunday the 17th of march monday the 18th of march and tuesday the 19th of march there will be spoilers so lauren what do you think of the week so far what do you think about tonight tuesday's episode the first thing I'll say about the week so far is that I can't believe Sunday's episode came and went with not one mention to St. Patrick's Day. Isn't that unusual? You are right. Yes. Yeah, they not didn't one mention even, of it the whole time. They didn't even call the longest living pony Patrick as a as a reference to <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. So no. Nothing. They nothing covered nothing. a lot though, but yeah, no, you're right. Any other observation. Yeah, not much. Tonight's episode though. I'm sick to my back teeth of this horse rubbish. It, <laughs> oh, it hasn't even kicked off yet, and I'm already. I've had a complete enough of it. Of it. I don't care who the oldest horse in the uh, uh, oldest horse in the world is, living or dead, and I don't care if George has got anything to do with it. And I find it even more bizarre that New Robert is getting involved in that sort of storyline as well. So mad. I'm sure we'll come on to New Robert later. Oh, we will. But to continue will. with tonight. <laughs> Um, I liked hearing about Brian hadn't just been for a swim in the new spa with an outdoor heated pool. I feel like oh. I'd quite like to get there. Not with Brian, but just no. there anyway. Um, and yeah, Miranda. She's <gasps> she's well she's on the one. scene, isn't she? Yeah, she is. And she's got she's got tea to spill, hasn't she? You know, all the news on you, Justin. Oh, yeah, what did I miss? Because I was writing things down and then I heard him... Uh, I feel like I missed a key point about Justin. So what did I... Well, she was spilling the beans on how basically she was the one with m money and Justin had lost all his on the market. So marrying her, right. he married up, basically. And she's the one that provided, right. according to Miranda, the finances for him to then okay. move forward. So, yes, that's fascinating. So do you, rem do you remember Miranda from beforehand? I Yes. Do you remember Miranda? Yes, I do remember Miranda. <laughs> yes. And uh, the, the, the they were quite sort of um, spiky with each other by that point because the marriage yeah. was deteriorating. But yes. Very interesting. Maybe I do sort of. How how long have they been? Maybe I feel like I do remember Miranda a little bit when I just started listening. Maybe she was still on the scene, but they were definitely broken up. Yeah, for now you're putting how me on the spot. How many years ago would that been? Because they had I a couple am, of sorry. homes. There was, uh, you know, one of them would be in one home, and there was all uh, there was a yeah. lot of shenanigans going on. But I can't remember. I think it's quite a while. I mean, he's been with Lillian okay. quite a while because they were going yeah. to get married and then they actually didn't get married. Lillian and Justin decided just to yeah. be partners in life. So I don't know. Maybe it's... it's around that time that I'm remembering them because maybe there was something to do with the divorce at, at Miranda. But I definitely feel like I've heard from Miranda before. But yeah, but she's back and seemingly very interested in Brian, trying to get him back to her house for we don't need coffee, we've already had coffee. <laughs> And Brian is on cloud nine at the moment. He's very happy. I can't wait to find out what how Justin reacts when he discovers that Brian is seeing Miranda. And it was lovely yeah. that Kate and Alice were so supportive of Brian this week. I know. But what will they say? That'll be interesting. And I love the fact that Kate worked it all out by the purplish tint aura. I mean, is she actually... I've always no. laughed and thought her aura... Maybe she's onto rubbish. something. Yes! Do we need to listen to Kate from now on? That's worrying. That, that was one of my faves from this week, actually, was um, Kate and Alice both coming together with their descriptions of Brian recently and saying that he's perky, jaunty and cheerful with a purple aura and overpowering <laughs> aftershave. <laughs> I quite like that as a, as a description of a man who's in the first flushes of uh, dating again. Something I did pick up on, though, and having not been widowed or divorced, I don't know if this would happen, but I thought... For two people on a date, which I assume this is, they talk an awful lot about their ex-partners or deceased partners. Like, it, it, it went on for a long time. But then I guess they've got that history then. Maybe that would come up quite a lot. But there's not much talk about anything else really going on. I think, to me, that seemed quite healthy. That, as you say, yes, they knew each other's partners so they can have a more open discussion about it. And the fact that Brian isn't 
almost pretending, you know, his time with Jenny didn't happen. They are talking about it. I yeah. think that's quite quite healthy. But, I mean, Brian almost sort of did a bit of a growl tonight at one point. And I thought, oh, my goodness, he's back to his naughtiness. Hi, Jinx, Brian. Hi, Jinx. But Quentin was there high-fiving himself yeah. over the growl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, there are two key things that we need to talk about tonight. Yes. The first one is new Robert. The second yes. one is what do you eat with Chicks pies? Or mash. Yes. But <laughs> let let's let's do with Robert Mark II. New Robert thoughts, observations, okay. feelings. Well, I haven't been listening for quite as long as everybody else who does this here podcast. So maybe I'm not as bonded to characters that I've heard, heard all that much from. And Robert, to me, I haven't heard all that much from. I mean, I have always enjoyed him saying Lindy and just being sort of very soft and gentle, sort of complimenting her almost. But this Robert, <laughs> I found him a little bit snappy. Um, and when he described himself as not hospitable enough, I thought, oh, <laughs> That might be quite apt, actually. Um, one of the things he said very early on, one of his first lines was, oh, fabulous, that's just brilliant, I've split the yolk. And I thought, whoa, what an, what an intro. But my my opinion, I want to know your opinion, Philippa, because you've been much more involved with the, these characters for a long time. Like you, I have fond feelings about old Robert, Robert Mark One, And I, obviously we're sorry that the actor... Uh, died and had and has been replaced and social media it's fair to say have been very unhappy about new yeah. robert i have to say i have never liked a replacement when it's happened i've always railed okay. against it i've always thought they don't sound right they're not this they're not that and over time i've realized that actually i'm fine with it so i am going to trust the team that they know what they're doing and they must have had a very specific reason to give us grumpy robert rather than normal yes. placid kind robert and i'm sure it can't be that it made us all grind our teeth and say that's not robert i just mm. so i'm i am going to put my faith in the archers team and say it will it will be all right and i really hope that comes true but i felt so sorry for new robert because lindy is trying to get him a hobby he, he didn't even say he wanted a hobby he just doesn't want to be cooking for Mr. Philpot. And she's going and the botanical watercolour painting. I just thought, that, my goodness. And Linda's primroses were a work of art. <laughs> and how she said yeah. the merest Dark dab. People. Yes. And the merest dab <laughs> of the brush can change everything. And poor Robert's like, yeah, in the in the wrong way. So yeah. um I'm gonna trust in the team, but I'm I'm not enjoying it yet. It's not the Robert that I know and love, but... You'll get used to it, I guess. Yeah. And well, I, we all will. We all will. How many times would you say this has happened over the years that you've been listening that a character's been replaced? Oh, gosh, quite a few. I mean, Pip, Tom, yeah. Tony... I mean, quite a... Yeah. Um, Emma? Yeah, exactly. And each time it happens, you think, oh, they're not the same, they're not right. And yet, five, ten years later, you, you you don't think about it. So don't worry, everyone. No. Give it five, ten years. We'll we'll all be don't fine. Worry. <laughs> we've got other things to worry about. Anyway, we've got to worry about whether or not we would have chips or mash with pie. And that, uh, we could have done a whole episode of this podcast on this very subject, Lauren. OK, yes, we've I got know. all the food to go through. But yeah, Tracy was talking to Chris in the ball and he'd ordered a pie. And she said, do you want chips or mash with it? Chris chose mash. It's uh, we've put a poll on Twitter on Instagram. The consensus is mash. Lauren, what's your view? I would always have mash with pie, always. But I love chips. I would forgo pie and mash for a plate of chips. <laughs> but with but with pie, it's mash. What about you? Well. You see, it depends. I don't want to talk about it too long. I'll summarise. Depends where you're eating it. If you're out at like a fish and chip shop, then pie and chips, lovely. If you're at home yeah. with mash and you've got a substantial quantity of gravy, mash, then I'm fine with yeah. mash. So placement... You need the gravy. Yeah, it just... You can't just... You can't just jump to conclusions. Or I can't about what to go with it. It's, it takes careful analysis. <laughs> 
But there we go. I think we've covered the essential points. Any other faves this week? Uh, I quite like the sound of the botanical watercolour painting class. I'm quite into my watercolours, so I think I would have had a nice time there, but not if I had Lindy talking about how wonderful she is and Robert absolutely grimacing throughout. But I quite enjoyed the, the that. What about you? Uh, I loved Tracy asking Linda in the pub if she wanted the house savvy blanc. And Linda said, the Sauvignon Blanc, yes. <laughs> I just thought that was... Uh, I, I like that. I liked hearing Stella and Hannah talk. I like Hannah refer to Natasha as the glamorous fruit and nut woman. Um, I, nice to hear well, Oliver being have, lovely. You might have also have loved all the food mentions because there were oh, plentiful this week. There was. Now, I'm sure I've missed some, but I'll rattle through them. I heard smashed avocado, crispy bacon, vinegar, runny eggs, pork sausages, tofu scramble, buttered toast, hay for Bartleby, chips or mash with pie, curry and rice, dinner out, bowl of olives. Yeah, I had six course tasting menu as dinner out. They they were yes. deciding whether or not to have that, but I had all of that as well. So yeah, well well done both of us. Very very good. Any flops? Yeah, so I've already alluded to not being interested in this oldest horse in the world yes. nonsense. Another flop for me was Pip rocking up at Stella's house with Rosie. Rosie spending seemingly four hours put it, getting ready for a puppet show, then putting it on. And Pip just letting her get on with it. And I was just thinking, this is literally my worst nightmare, that someone would turn up at my house with a child and say they're going to put you on a show. And I'm thinking I've got loads of other stuff that I'd rather be getting on with. So big flop for me. <laughs> And then another flop, or maybe just a slightly weird thing I found, was Chris referring to Tracy and calling Tracy Auntie Tracy. Like, the age difference there can't be all that much. But Susan is Chris's mum. Yeah. And Susan and Tracy are sisters. Yeah, so I get, I get that they okay, are... Okay, sorry, that sorry. She is his auntie. Okay. But, but I just, just thought, she can't oh, be all yes. that much older than him to then refer to him as... To, yeah. I mean, for him to refer to her as Auntie Tracy, but he said it like he'd said it millions of times. <laughs> Maybe that's just because they needed to remind us that they are related. Yes. Maybe. Maybe that was Maybe. the way. You know how they announce yeah. people's names sometimes. Yeah. Maybe it was that. Yes, sorry, I should have realised that you knew their relationship. That's probably but what was going on. It what was about a you? bit Flops obvious. Yeah, very like you. I, I thought Rose's 10-hour puppet show was uh, extraordinary. And the fact <laughs> she was up till sort of, it seemed, past midnight on a school night. And the fact that Pip called Stella and said, you know, there's something you have to see. I thought, oh, is it a film crew? Is it an award? No, it's Rosie behind the sofa with some puppets that she's made. Oh, I mean, this... God. Why... Why didn't Stella just sit there at least with a curry and eat it while watching this puppet show? She she could have and done also, that. Hannah must have been thinking, I'd rather have my lounge back now, please. Yes. Like, rather than all of this going on. Do you think Hannah and Chris are going to be a thing? Well, one of my predictions is uh, about Hannah and Chris. Do you think it could be another overlap in time for him to get back with Alice? Oh, I hope that for Hannah's sake that it's okay because I feel sorry for her. You know, she had that difficult time with Tom and yeah. I want it to be okay, but I want Chris to get back with Alice, but they don't work together. So I don't know. I just, no. I feel fine. I Hannah. don't know. I can't, I don't see Hannah and Chris as a couple, if I'm being honest. I I find mm. Hannah quite prickly. Um, and I think Chris needs someone a bit softer, particularly That's now. That's true. That's um, true. So yeah, I don't. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'm not a big Hannah fan. If I'm being honest, I feel bad that she feels sad about st about what happened with Tom and everything. But yeah, I find her um, a bit grating. And that's why I love Hannah because she is brittle and says what she thinks. And you're right, actually, she's not going to be a huge fan of Martha if she's no. not a huge. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see. Not you really of know. even the family. She was so awful to Emma. I feel like I'll never forgive her for the way she spoke to Emma. Um, like all of the things she said about her when she was trying to get one, uh, trying to get the house and stuff like that. And she was just so mean to her. Um, and now she'd be interested in going out with Emma's brother. Really? Mm, that's true. But then George got Hannah, you know, pushed Hannah out of the house. 
Uh, and yeah. so she's been sofa surfing for a while. So a bit of payback. But you're right. No, you are right. The voice of reason, Lauren. But we're running out of time. Star of the yes. week. Who is it? Well, I had to dig deep for Miss Star of the Week because I didn't feel like anybody was super deserving. But I've given it to Linda, who was star pupil, so therefore deserved <laughs> Star of the Week. And also I've given it to her because her and Tracy, well, her and Tracy discussing the fact that all women had now been ousted from the cricket mm. team managerial level. And one little swift word from Linda and we've got it, it's all back on the table. So, yeah, Linda's Miss Star of the Week for the week. What about you? My Star of the Week is Mr. Philpot the guest of Robert, Robert and Linda's because he was complaining about everything and even complained about the mirror that he didn't like how he yes. looked in the mirror. I was like, yeah, this is classic. Yes. Uh, so that was my Very predictions. Good. You've given me one. Any other prediction? That was it, yeah. Um, and I just wonder what will happen. I, I do believe that Brian will take Miranda along this Friday to the do that they're going to. I feel like that's going to happen. So... It's all love is in the air for my predictions, or maybe not. Doesn't Anderson have his hearing soon as well, where he finds out, or is that in another week or two? I don't know. Were we given a date? I feel like it was just alluded to that it was going to be happening at some point. But we definitely haven't heard from any of those guys this week, have we? So maybe not. Well, my, I had a couple of predictions. One that Chris didn't listen to Tracy properly. So um, he thinks that she was saying that Linda, Lindy wants to be chair of the uh, commit, the cricket committee. And actually the way Linda seems to be taking over anything that Robert could do, maybe she will end up as chair of the cricket yeah. committee. And also I think that the, the ball is going to start selling pies with a third option, mashed chips or Ooh. roast potatoes. What about all three? Oh, yes. With gravy. Now you're Mm. talking. Absolutely brilliant. (laughs) Well, that's it from us. There will be no interview this Saturday because we're going back to once a fortnight. But we've got an absolutely superb one planned for the week after. Can't wait for that. So I'll be back. We'll all be back next Tuesday. It'll be all four of us with the party. And if you're on YouTube, if you're watching us on YouTube, if you could subscribe to this account, we would be ever so grateful. And we and also will... take notice of my beautiful cardigan if you're watching on YouTube. The cat cardigan is sensational. <laughs> but we'll be back next Tuesday, as we say. And until then, it's a goodbye from me. And a goodbye from me. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs>